Ron as well. He, of course, is in 11th place as we speak. And Lysacek told us that his new approach to competition, he feels he needs more showmanship. I think that uh, my biggest challenge is to really perform each time. And I think coming up as an American skater, we're taught to be a vision of consistency and just whatever happens, you go out and land your jumps and do your spins. And um, I've kind of noticed this year I've done that. I've done what I think is my job and haven't ended up in first place. I've been in second and in third. And I think that what it takes is to go out with the attitude of, look, I'm either going to you know, go for it 100% or I'm going to fall, you know, miserably trying. And Paul Wiley, your thoughts on, I guess, that theory that American skaters, at least on the men's side, have been taught a bit um, to, to be more mechanical and just to take care of the technical elements? I don't know, because I was always focused on the performance. Uh, and I guess, yeah, my consistency suffered. So you live a little bit out of your left brain and your right brain. I think I would have killed to have the consistency of Adam Lysacek, though. <laughs> Struggled a little bit with this opening jump here, the triple axle. That was nice. Second element, triple lutz into triple toe loop. Clean as a whistle. Side edge there now doing the cannonball position turning that out each of those position changes adding a level this vamos a bayar by gypsy kings is a very good choice for evan because it shows several different moods and enables him to have some sharp movements and some audience interaction. You can hear them clapping. The judges are just members of the audience, remember, so they're they're also feeling that. Lysacek right now is skating with a sore hip, although Paul, based on his performance thus far, it certainly does not seem to be affecting him. You wouldn't know it, but he said he got it from those inside changes on the back sit spin, where you're pulling out your glute muscle and your oblique. The new judging system really forcing skaters to go out of their comfort zone and stretch, and in some cases, pull muscles. to Evan's long program. He's got a brand new program to Carmen. He will unveil here. This a very clean skate, though. He's got to be pleased with that. That's exactly what you want in the short program. Not to be a hero, but to just have a clean skate. It started with a triple axle. Evan goes a little bit more laterally than most skaters in the triple axle. Gets nice full rotation there. The triple let's triple toe loop here. Very good tight air position. You can see the reach back here, nice and straight, vaulting over. Good ride out there. A little bit less curvy on the landing of the triple let's triple toe than the triple axle. And a perfect score right there in the checklist. Excellent job, Evan. Congratulations. 20-year-old Evan Lysacek, who took bronze at the Worlds in Moscow. That was his first time competing in the Worlds. He was second at Skate America, and he would need 64.21 to take over the lead as things stand now from Yannick Poncero. 
And Evan Lysacek does that with room to spare at 71.05. That puts him in first as things stand now. And coming up next, we'll take a look at 24-year-old Japanese skater Takeshi.